So this is a vat of moly corn, and the corn ferments and produces an acid. And acid attacks rust, attacks metal, but especially rust. So we'll see, we'll see what we find in here. We got a, a ball hitch, hitch ball, and you can see how the, the metal is kind of clean and pitted in some cases. This is the, the copper flash when they chrome plate these things, which is a crazy idea because the chrome just makes the rust worse. But you see it kind of has come off there. We'll see what else is in here. Ah. So that was rusty. This is the, the paint film that was loose. And you see, look at that. I don't see any rust at all in there. That's beautiful. It smells kind of bad, but... <laughs> now there is more rust here. There, well, no, maybe not. There's uh, something... There's some bits of rust, but it, it looks like it's just uh, kind of disintegrating there. I'm not sure what it's going to do exactly if I pressure wash this, but it looks like it'll come awfully clean. As clean as you can get with corn slime water. Look at that. That was in there quite a while, actually. This was, I'm not sure how long that ball was in there. Now, that's gonna flash rust if you let it dry out without doing something to it. That's why I put it back in. This was in there a couple of weeks. And that looks like there's still rust there. And there still is, that's kind of the scaly rust, but there's some sections that are bright, pickled clean as can be. So, it might need to be pressure washed to get some of that stuff off. Some of that that looks like rust is just, it's like a, a, a rust film. So, it doesn't work perfectly, but it's, it's not entirely a uniform product from top to bottom either. Let's stick that one back in. And the same, same kind of thing. You got some rust that's still on there that doesn't want to come off. And then there's some places where it just kind of powders right off. So, use it for what it is. Good way to use up moldy corn. And the corn's still edible. Ha, ha, ha.